hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so as part of jira series today we are going to talk about jira instances so what do you mean by jira instance so the way we are going to use jira or the way we are going to deploy or the way we are going to install jira software is known as jira instance so take an example uh, for learning purpose how we are going to set up our account or how we are going to install jira software right and if you are working in a company how we are going to use jira software or how we are going to deploy the jira software so there are different instances are available based on our usage so we'll talk about them and there are different plans as well so let's talk about them uh, about jira instances in detail so in the context of jira an instance an instance typically refers to a specific installation of jira there are different types of instances depending on how we are going to how jira is deployed and used correct so there are three instances are available uh, we have jira cloud and uh, we have jira server and last we have jira data data center so currently jira server is not available nowadays we have now jira cloud and jira data center but even though let's talk about them in detail so if we talk about jira cloud so it is hosted by atlassian uh the company which developed jira software an australian company which we discussed in the last video in this instance what happens is atlassian host jira on the cloud right user access jira through a web browser without worrying about the underlying infrastructure so infrastructure is uh, set up by atlassian itself so they will provide uh, uh, to set up the site the domain and host will be provided by atlassian only and we can give our uh, subdomain so let's let's say we are going to set up our account right so how we are going to set up as part of this jira cloud so let's say we are working for a company called abc so the our site will be like abc.atlassian.net so this is how we are going to access the jira software when we use jira cloud right and again there are different plans inside this jira cloud like free plan will be there which we are going to use for our uh, training purpose and then we have a premium and some other plans as well enterprise plan as well so we'll discuss about them uh, in a while if you talk about jira server mostly jira server and jira data uh, center are same so let's talk about them jira server is self hosted so hosted uh, it it should be like it will be hosted by itself the organization organization install jira on its own server this option gives more control over the jira environment right because we are going to control the jira software in our own infrastructure the organization is responsible for maintaining and updating the server including managing backups security and performance correct uh, i'll i'll talk about the difference between jira software uh, jira server and jira data center but let's talk about first what is data center so enterprise solution for a large organization or big companies we are going to use jira data center designed for large organizations jira data center is a self hosted solution that supports high availability disaster recovery and scalability correct so the common thing between jira server and jira data center is the, uh, it is it is self hosted right the infrastructure is provided by the company itself which we are going to use the jira the difference is uh, in terms of the storage or performance or scalability or security right so these are the different differences so nowadays this is uh, we have more controlled environment in jira data center so that's why Uh, we are going to have i mean we are uh, we are having jira cloud and jira data center right now we don't use jira server anymore now let me show you how we can see different plans uh, when we talk about how we are going to use jira software right so let's have a look so simply in google just type jira software and you'll see here uh, pricing so open this in new tab and you will see two options over here cloud right and data center there are two options here cloud and data center inside this pricing correct uh, this is atlassian website now if you see compare plans and pricing so there are different plans available if you talk about this cloud only 
so you can see the free plan is there standard premium enterprise correct and there are different rates uh, so free is anyway we don't no need to pay anything but there are some limited uh, limitations are there in free plan and if you talk about talk about a standard uh, so 8.15 dollar is there per user and uh, premium 16 dollar and enterprise this is annually built annually so annually we have to pay for this enterprise solution on cloud also so inside cloud we have we have four plans free standard premium and enterprise and you can see what are the different features we have like up to 10 users we can use for this uh, free plan unlimited project boards backlog and timeline reporting and insights and 2 gb of storage this is important point right guys about uh, jira when we are going to use free plans right if you talk about the standard so here we have 250 gb of storage and uh, you'll see uh, like up to 35000 users we can use so similarly we'll get some more features on premium and uh, enterprise level again you will see here uh, what are the different features we have uh, number of sites how many sites we can uh, set up like uh, free plan only one and standard one premium one and multiple on enterprise level automation also we can run some rules we can create in jira account uh, 100 rules per month like uh, there are some functionality which runs automatically how we are going to use them so 100 rules we can set up per month in free plan 1700 for this and so on right and we have some other uh, features as well so you can go uh, through this guys and i'll provide the link in the description box of this video or simply you can type jira software and you can see you can just go to this pricing and you can see uh, all these plans and uh, you can calculate the price as well uh, here you can put the user number of user and you can see monthly and annually so charges will be little less when you go by, uh, go for annual charges right and you can change the users as well you can see the different pricing over here if you talk about data center and here you will see what are the features we have different things which we have as part of data center and this will be charged annually as well like 42000 uh, per user uh, per year and for 500 users correct so this is for large organization uh, and uh, we have different uh, options uh, like features over here annual item license per maintenance because this will be hosted on the company itself which we are going to use the jira right and you can see more details about the subscription info definition of user payment options and all those things you can just go through it and uh, in the next video i'll show you how we are going to set up uh, this cloud uh, on the free version right and then we'll start our uh, uh, jira learning series we'll talk about more of um, uh, different uh, uh, we are going to set up a project and we'll talk about different things over there so this is all for today guys uh, let me know still if you have any questions or anything related to jira software we'll discuss right and uh, in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye